Welcome to the start of the new week. Um, it's time to prep. Ready for the uh, stone ship. <coughs> oh, a bit of a long day yesterday. <coughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so we're going to prep. I'm going to split this into two videos just to tease you guys. So tomorrow's video will hopefully be, if all goes well, um, all this in Almond Green stone ship or stone guard, whatever you like to call the damn stuff. Uh, it's actually tough liner. It's a protective coating. That's what we're going with, tintable. Anyway, we'll talk more about that later. So basically what I want to do now is tidy up, try and make a bit of space, make a little bench down the end just to put all the paint bits and bobs on out of the way. Uh, then we're gonna uh, get this at a bit more of an angle, I think, just to just so I can get to both sides a little bit, just these edges. When I did the other side years ago when I did the jet black, I missed this edge on the other side because it was too low down. I had to redo it slightly later on. So we're trying to tilt over a little bit more, gives us the angle. Um, and yeah, we're going to mask up some of the wings and everything like that because I don't think I really want to get this stuff in places where I don't want it because it's going to be a bugger to get off. Uh, and yeah, so we get it all masked up, mask up some of the holes just to stop it all going through. And uh, yeah, get ourselves prepped. Can't think what else. And then we can't keep putting it off. It's just gonna happen. Cool. Not sure if that looks any tidier, but it's definitely giving me enough room to move up and down and stone chip the gun, stone chip the, the floor, which is the main thing. Car floor, that is. Uh, this stuff's gone hard. Not flexible like the um, Tiger Seal was. Good or bad, don't know. That's what it is. Just to let everyone know, a bit of feedback there. <coughs> um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is mask up all over the wings and stuff, just so I don't get too much overspray uh, when I do the stone shipping. Um, I think I'll, I think I did it last time. I, I basically did all this up to here in stone ship, and then we'll leave the uh, box section from the cross member upwards. I suppose ideally, what we could have do with the uh, stone ship in the actual bottom of this, but I've got those washers on it at the moment. I take them off the car's gonna fall down. So we'll leave that for the moment. We can do that in a separate task later. We can, you know, it could be painted with a bit of ammo or anything under there just to give it a bit more protection. So yeah, we're stone chip up to here, so we we'll mask this off. We're we'll mask the inner wings off because I don't think I really want to paint the inside of the inner wings. Um we'll leave this um front scuttle as well area free because I might if I have enough stone chip I'll plaster the inside of that as well as well as the outside, up to the end bumper. Uh, yeah, mask it all up. Just on the back here, I basically, I ran a bit of bealant, sealant around there. Uh, do you remember, it's mostly where I, um, it's where I welded. This rear panel was really pretty good, all apart from the very flange part. So we just basically remade the flange. So that bit of sealant there has covered the nice dodgy welding I've done. Um, but what I might do is mask up this side, and then what I do is I just run down the back of this side, the top of this which is underneath the bumper with a bit of stone chip as well um, just to give it a bit of protection as well because it really does collect water down there and stuff like that that's where they really go so yeah <laughs> let's uh, do a bit of masking
All right, getting there with the masking. Uh, what I just want to do now is not that I'm normally this anal, um, but I've got a few, I've got quite a lot of unmarked in the primer as I was rushing to put it on, the epoxy primer. Um, I think, to be honest, the stone chip will cover it up anyway because I think it goes on quite thick, but I'm just going to run a little um, soft pad over it with a 240, take the high spots off just so uh, I don't know why. It, it is just there. It bugs, bugs me. Alrighty, that took most high spots off. That I do for now. I've got a little bit more masking to do. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. I think we're getting there. Right, the knife. That didn't help. Things. So yeah, the masking is basically just, as I said, to stop most of the any of the shit going inside. Something that's mostly more harder to sand off later. Um, left the um, subframe bolt. In. Uh, again, just stop a bit of stone chip going inside those. Uh, otherwise, you'll have to run a tap and die through them. Uh, so, yeah, we're getting quite there. I think I quite like those little tabs now. Um, so, I did get a dislike, but hey ho, maybe it wasn't just the tabs, maybe it's just me. Uh, so, yeah, let's mask up a bit of the inner wings while we're here. We've got a bit more time before we have to. <coughs> I've got tape. Take the wife to the French market. Oh, don't know if you can see it. And how bad it was. The lights are pretty bad. I went inside with a little hammer and a block of wood. And I basically uh, hit down the gullies and spread the load and came back on this side. It's not bad, it's definitely a it's 100 times better. A slight high point there, so we can turn that one back in a bit. Um, but yeah, we got rid of quite a lot of this curve here, which is good. It's good enough for what I need to do anyway. So, uh, we'll just try and do a little bit more tap in there and see what happens. Worst case, the whole thing's going to flip inside out like a drum. Yeah, just run a bit of paper down the front. Just to a bulk of it. I don't know if one pot's going to be enough of that stone chip. I've got two, so it's alright, but what I hate doing is using half of a pot. Yeah, never good, is it? So yeah. Okay, we've got ourselves all ready for the next video. Um, real cheap gun that came with another um, eBay fucking stone chip stuff. So I'm hoping it fits the tins. I think the chins the lids are quite generic. If it doesn't, we ain't gonna get no stone chipping done today. So yeah, I really don't use the best equipment. It is what it is. And I end up bloody throwing these things away because I just can't wash the damn things out. But I'll give it a go this time. Uh, thing is, I don't need to use it again for a while. Or I need to use it on my dad's, I guess. So yeah, if we can get away with one tin of this stuff, that'd be great. I think a gut feeling is what is one and a half last time of this uh, when I used the uh, U-Pole stuff. Uh, I don't know whether I could get away with pouring half of it, half a can in, and half a bit of. I could do that, couldn't I? Once I've got an empty can, could I remix in it? Uh, by the time you answer that, it'd be too late and I would have done it. So we'll go with one and hopefully we can, we can go with it. But then in the end, fuck it. We just, uh, we use two, we use two, don't we? You know, get a good, we can always do a second layer. I think you're supposed to do two coats anyway. Uh, but we'll just see how it goes on. And uh, yeah, just go from there. 
So we've got our top coat that we're going to mix into it. We've got our hardener that goes in. Pretty sure all of this just goes in. Best to read the instructions. Don't just follow what I do. Um, look it all up. Follow it all on line. Um, and then, as I said, this stuff comes with some sort of grit stuff that you can do because it's, it's supposed to be for load beds. Um, but I won't bother doing that. I don't think there's no reason to make it um, all scratchy and gritty and non-grit underneath the car. No one's going to be standing on it. So anyway, all good. Next video tomorrow. Bosh, almond green. Not too bad at that floor. It's, it's a lot better than it was. So yeah, almond green, guys. Um, if you're a Patreon, um, I'll try and give you the link tonight for the video of the stone chipping if I can. Um, so yeah, go check me out if you're on the Patreon pages. Um, you'll be able to see uh next video. So I've always wanted to show you guys a bit of colour on it before anybody else. But yeah, non-patrons, just wait till tomorrow. Bye bye. Oh, we're gonna try and do fondue for tea. Never done that before. Always had it out, but never done it at home. What can go wrong?